What up guys? Another video. Another Nasdaq video. Um I'll show you guys how I caught a little trade today. I wouldn't even call it a fucking trade. It was honestly a scalp because um volatility was just so fucking high. Like I wasn't gonna I just didn't feel comfortable setting a limit order and just fucking seven point stop, ten point stop. And just like I don't know, it was just too volatile for me, like I don't know, so waited for low time frame entry, but if I did set a limit, I would have fucked these markets, like, really, but yeah, you're seeing a lot of standard deviations on my screen, so I'm just going to show you why I marked them, how are they going to work, and yeah, so like, first of all, I'm always just going to mark out Asia for my bias, like, my bias, I do previous day low, previous day high, so we have a daily bearish candle. I'm going to expect previous day low to get swept and maybe take longs. Okay. Same with a bullish day candle. I'm going to expect previous day high to get swept. So put Asia standard deviations looking to take longs. Um, I did get lined up with... what? Where did I get lined up? Yes, in the negative 4s and then this negative 2.5. I was thinking about this level, but I was like... It's right before market open. Like, it's too early. I, we got to wait for, like, 10 a.m. at least. Um, So, yeah, it, it reacted a little, but it was just a retracement like. So, I actually used that as a supporting deviation. And, yeah, I stacked up a lot of levels. So, first of all, I took this 15-minute manipulation on London session. Yeah, that's, like, my number one leg. Either PO3 leg, so accumulation, manipulation, distribution, or London manipulation. Either here, or like... A little bit outside of the range not before the range but maybe take it outside of the range um that was my most accurate level you can see negative four yeah negative four was pretty crazy um and we lined up off that retracement leg that we had right here we marked that out negative 2.5 and negative four lined up that's really nicely when the negative twos and negative fours line up should show like really good reversal and that's exactly what it did um i had a little another supporting deviation right here a little retracement leg mm, it was a little bit accurate we had this negative 2.5 and negative 3.5 but like if you took that you would have like possibly gotten stopped out depending yeah you're getting fucked bro unless you're setting 15 point stop like that's the biggest stop i'll ever set um I got my entry on the one minute too because I wasn't confident in my limits because, I don't know, it was just too volatile. I didn't want to get stopped. Um, I did take this on alpha ticks. I'm just showing you guys this because I have all my indicators on here in my standard deviation settings. Like Before my trade, I'll go a trading view and then I'll set my limit order or get my entry. And also, on the VP, we're below value area low. And like... I've been looking at like these low volume nodes and like apparently there's things called I'm just learning this now things called ledges and shelves so like think of a ledge like as a cliff like it just drops off drops off apparently it's just like good price to enter or good um, place to enter off of so I guess that worked out and we're in low volume nodes below value area low so we're going to want to retrace the POC um, we never really did but yeah so coming down to when we hit this level too. We got a really strong drawn liquidity, and that's where I put my TP because I just took quick scalp. Um, this 15 minute gap, as we close, I literally entered like right after this candle. We re retraced down, and then boom. Um, yeah, and then drawn liquidity was this 15 minute gap. I didn't care if it get inverse or not. I just want to get out. It was still 94, 95 points. Um, yeah, still a good trade. Very fucking volatile. Um, all day today, really. Um, yeah, let me show the one minute entry and this is my model. Like I'm showing you guys the same model. It's just going a little bit more in depth. Um, my eye bags are so fucking bad. Um, need some of these profitability right here. Um, so I just took my entry off the 50% mark of this one minute breaker. Literally the only thing I really saw. And like, I guess, I don't know. I've seen an ICT. 
videos. Like if you have like this wick and then this wick and then you have like that middle candle that creates the fair value gap. I guess it's an implied fair value gap or whatever you call it, but I don't give a fucking shit about that. I just took 50% of this breaker, get a low time frame entry retracement and yeah, it ran up. And for you guys who set a limit order here, you guys are fucking eating. Honestly, there we fucking go. Um, you guys can see my search up here too. How to get better film quality. My fucking candles will look so blurry. So, yeah, got this discount breaker, 50%. And then took past this high. Just waited for that 15 minute gap up above. Because that was the strong draw on liquidity. And I did set like a little... This was like a five minute SLM. Let me see the one minute SLM here. I mean, pretty accurate. Look at negative four. We fucking dropped a little bit. That would have been a nice TP, but like, I don't know. I took that five minute. You could have took TP at like negative 1.5. Um, that's really the model. You can get low time frame entry or set limits. Just maybe line up some higher time frame PD rates. I'm in school, so like, I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna get a low time frame entry. Look at the reaction off these standard deviations. So I kind of frayed away from my model, but still an insane trade. Still insane reaction. Um, Again, look at this fucking negative four, dude. These The London manipulation and the PO3 manipulation are very accurate. Um, If you guys want indicators, the volume shit that everyone who fucking downloads TradingView, you start with that shit. Uh, VP by like K4 coins or some shit and then ICT kill zones pivots um, This shit kind of fucks up my, with my brain though like there's just so much shit I'm looking at kind of overcomplicate things Yeah, those are standard deviations use supporting deviations or LMs whatever you want to call them I would count this as an LM because it's the last swing before we run to our reversal or reversal point and then this is just supporting like honestly you can mark out all these fucking one minutes, but Mm, depending on how far um, you are away from your designated reversal point. So, just really depre <laughs> really depends. Um, and I kind of was like, alright, we hit this. I hit my trade at 9.59 a.m. Eastern Time. So, I was like, alright, 10 a.m. We're just going to fucking pump. Called that shit out on my server. Also, like, knowing times. Like, if you look at back testing, you can see, like, 10 a.m. Very strong time. You see a reversal there a lot of the times on NQ, but also just continuation. Um, those are uh, two things I've seen uh, live market and back test. So yeah, just something to consider too. Time is also price, but you can't really, I mean, it's somewhat of a confluence, but yeah. And like one more thing, some fucking kid at school today was like, yo, you don't know what candlesticks are. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like go watch fucking TGR boot camp, bro. Fuck you. Um, yeah, this is a trade. I don't even know what RR one to five. My classic RR. That's what I like targeting. Um, honestly, I think I could start targeting more big expansion moves with this model. You know, I think I just need to get my psychology a little bit better with these trades because I'm kind of in and out. You know, trading is. I saw this on uh, social media. Trading is uh, inter interconstitutive, intercountitive to our human brain. So, like, the human brain is wired to cut winners short and hold losers long. In trading, we have to do the opposite of that. Cut losers short, hold winners long. So, yeah, trading is a little emotional game, too, for me. You know, I'm still doing this, so I'm going to get better and better at it every day. Um... Yeah, and join up the Discord. It's pretty chill. You guys can learn some stuff too for free. Like no mentorship. There is some stuff in there you can learn. And there's some other really good traders in there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be posting more and see you.